Our beautiful city lends itself to history tours, foodie tours, even ghost tours. So we've invited certified paranormal investigator Gabe Matthews of Greenville Ghost Tours to take a lo take us up along on one. Welcome, glad you're here. Oh, it's always a pleasure, yeah. Margaret. Um, first, for people who don't know you, tell us a little bit about your background and what you what got you into the paranormal since you were a kid, right? Yeah, I've been uh, into it as a kid. I watched Casper the Friendly Ghost growing up, mm -hmm. the real Ghostbusters, always loved paranormal investigation and to the point where I started my own par downtown paranormal walking tour. Did things happen to you growing up that yeah. you thought this isn't, you know? I saw my dead grandfather in apparition when I was a child after sleepwalking uh -huh. and that in and of itself is a terrifying experience. Imagine going to bed in your bed, waking out all, out in the living room and seeing an apparition and actually smelled cigar smoke and no one in the house smoked at the time. Uh, so I, I figured it was my grandfather looking over me and I've uh, just been into paranormal investigation from yeah. then on. When you've yeah. had that encounter, you use your your senses, you use your tools, and, and you take groups on, on sightseeing um, tours, including the former Greenville Army Navy store at Main Street and Augusta. We've got video of one of those tours on screen. What do you learn about that that location? Yeah, so uh, it's an old building. I believe it was built in the late 1800s, uh, 1878, if I remember correctly. Uh, but then it opened as a Greenville Army Navy store in 1946. Mm -hmm. But it was haunted before that store even opened, and there's actually me dressed as uh, Beetlejuice. I don't know I if you saw the new could. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. <laughs> Did you see it? Yeah, I saw it actually seven times. It's a really good movie, um, so recommended. But yeah, I dressed up as it. But I'm talking here about the Greenville Army Navy store. Uh, and yeah, so Harry Zaglin opened it in 1946. And uh, that was his you know, until he died in 1995, that's what he ran. And, you know, he uh, loved it. And um, it is said that uh, after he, you know, he didn't like change. So when you went to the store in the 1960s, you went there in the 2000s, it was identical to yeah. as it was. And after he passed, there's reports of uh, someone taking an item off his desk, locking it away with a key, only to come back the next day to see that item back in its original location. But the, the thing is, it's been haunted way more than that. So this is basically uh, a paranormal lightning rod in a great place. And now it's Ballard Designs. Uh, a nice furniture store, but you know, they don't have any dark uh, gothic furniture, so it's not as interesting to me. I talked to them and they've had paranormal experiences today. Chandeliers rattling, um, items moving to different locations, books in different spots, yeah. uh, the basement door rattling, and there's a thing that said Harry's uh, Harry's key or something, Harry's home. The ghost yeah. who did not like change, maybe. Right. Involved. I, I, another one that you hear about, too, you take people to the Old Stone Church in Clemson where the witch queen is said to be buried. Tell us that story. Yeah. Well, I don't actually take them there because it's in Clemson. This is the witch queen of Clemson. Uh, and the story is this is Eliza Huger. Uh, and she... Um, uh, the legend is that she was a uh, very powerful witch and a scandalous lady. Uh, and then when she got to be a young adult, she uh, moved to New Orleans and uh, worked at a brothel. Now her brothers tracked her down, found her with a client, killed the client and her, took her body back to South Carolina where no church would allow her to be buried there, except uh, here, the old stone church in Clemson. But they would only allow her to be buried uh, if there was a wall built around her grave. And wow. you can see that wall. I went there uh, by myself, and I don't uh, usually go by myself. That's my number one rule of paranormal investigation, <laughs> to not go by yourself. But as you can see, lightning has struck that grave numerous times, and people actually put uh, money on there, there's coins on there, to pay her way into salvation. And people also put other trinkets on there. And the idea is you give to her, you don't take. If you take from her, then a 200-year-old witch will uh, forever curse you. All right, it's not worth the risk to grab any change off of yeah, there. I, no, I wouldn't. Wouldn't at all. No. Uh, I, I love what you're doing because you, you do this research, you, you hear these stories, you investigate them yourselves, and now you're, you're going to a new tour together. It's called Immersive Interactive Paranormal Investigation Experience. So people get to use these tools? Yeah. This is the uh, True Searchers Paranormal Investigators presents uh, the Greenville Ghost Tours Immersive Interactive Paranormal Investigation Experience Tour, or the TSPI GGT II Pi Tour. We can work on that. Okay, for yeah. short. Yeah, yeah, I wanted to shorten it, so I, I did that. <laughs> uh, but these are the tools I use, uh, and I was hoping to use this uh, uh, SLS camera. This is an SLS camera, but it actually crashed, um, so I'm going to see if I can Real quickly, uh, I 
powered it up before so it'd okay. be all set but you well, have other doesn't. devices you know I have yeah this is a temperature gun you can point you know cold spots are known to be especially fl temperature fluctuations okay. and I have all these you know a uh, lot of different tools you get to use them on the tour and Ovilus if it's not obvious and this is a, a, a um, spirit box. I don't even know what this is. Oh, this is the um, electromagnetic radiation tester. Uh, yeah, I got a FLIR, uh, right. you know, a device so you can um, actually infrared technology. Uh, so you've got the tools yeah. to sense the presence and then sometimes it's just the person that senses it themselves. So right. we have you, that built into us? You get to come on the tour. You get to be your okay. own paranormal investigator cool. uh, and you will 100% guarantee that you'll find evidence maybe. Now I can't, I like you know, that possibly, very much. possibly. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Gabe, this sounds like a lot of uh, a lot of people do this as a tradition this time of year. So I know uh, you're going to be out on the streets. Yeah, and I look forward to checking in with you soon. I got people coming, okay. you know, every year. Uh, I update some of the stories, and we got different guides doing different things, magic, new stories yeah. all the time. Love it. Right. Greenville Ghost Tours offers paranormal walking tours all year long. You find the full schedule and book your tickets online. Gabe, thank you.